Hello, it's me, James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this pretty much self-sufficient uh, Elytra launcher. Now, let me tell you what I mean by self-sufficient. You do not need... Uh, TNT, like my other Elytra launcher. Now, they are super, super OP. Uh, yeah, you don't need TNT for this one. This one relies on snow golems. Now, this uh, kind of mechanic has been in the game before, although the way it used to work got patched. I almost think that got patched years ago, and a user in my Discord server kind of uh, was showing me this mechanic with another system. However, I totally built this system fresh myself. It's a lot smaller, but it can be expanded. So if you guys like this system and you want a bigger version, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Although the bigger version is slightly more complex, and I kind of just wanted like a small one that you can just uh, pop up real quick, you know what I mean? So let me just show you this thing in action. First of all, you are going to need to prime it up. Now the perfect time to, to actually drop in here, because we're going to want to drop in the lava, believe it or not. Um, yeah, is when we start to see some flames or some snow start to break. So, uh, right now is not the perfect time. Soon enough, we'll see some flames come here or some snow start to break. And when that happens, we are going to drop in and press that button. So, you can see here, we've got some fire. I'm going to jump in and then we're going to press this button. And we get nicely launched up in front of my Simply Survival sign. Pretty nice, right? Again, I will show you that again. So if you just leave it on, it will continue to work now. So you can just kind of jump in and uh, press the button and we'll get launched up. Again, this one here, you can see it's not the highest of uh, Elytra launchers. But for what I need and uh, maybe for what you need, it could be good enough. Again, it can be fully expanded to go higher. Although, uh, like I said, yeah, this one is good enough for the resources. So I'll do it one more time. And uh, yeah. We should be good to go. So, uh, it's really easy. And, uh, like I said, really resource friendly. It's, it's really easy to set up. Let me show you exactly what you're going to need. First things first, you are going to want to find a decent place to put your Elytra launcher. I'm going to place mine right here. Because I want to get launched in front of my Simply Survival sign. So, the items you are going to need are as followed. You're going to need one lever. Bring yourself one rail. Uh, 16 glass should do you. Probably a little bit less than that, to be honest with you. Uh, you are going to want a trapdoor. I've got an iron one. I think it can be any. You're going to want a minecart, a piston, a sticky piston, six ladders to uh, minimum, but you can add extras, a cobweb, a lava bucket, 32 cobblestone. I think you're going to need a little bit extra, more like 40 or 50, but just grab a stack and you should be good to go. One stone button or any button, nine pieces of redstone, one redstone torch. You're going to want a redstone repeater and a carved pumpkin and last but no means least you are going to want two snow blocks and once you've got all of that you should be good to go and of course you are going to want to find a decent location so to start off with we are going to grab our normal piston and wherever we place this is basically where we're going to get shut up mm -hmm. so make sure above this normal piston is uh clear as you can see mine is clear and then we are going to want to make a little thing that allows us to run some lava over it so i'm basically going to go like this and well actually no not like that centerpiece i'll just remove that right now just remove that like that and, of course, I can remove any unnecessary blocks right now, which I'm going to do. So, remove that one, that one, and that one. And, of course, the corner. And now, we can put this piece of lava in here. And that will go over the piston. So, now we need to go up and bring a cobweb just above that lava. And then, we'll grab another cobblestone and place a button just there. So we need to now power the button. To do that, we're going to use glass. I'm going to remove this block because that was a temporary block. And we'll just place a piece of glass and another piece of glass like that. So we're kind of going down. And the reason we're using glass is because when you use glass, it can kind of go through the block. So I shall go back up here again. Just like that. And now uh, we can place one final bit there. And when we press, press this the uh, piston should be charged. So, what I would do at this stage, a little bit uh, 
more helpful. Place a block there. It's a little bit uh, easier if you actually place a block on this one first, but you can place it there like that. And that is step number one complete. We can now focus on getting our sticky piston in the right location. So now we have something that looks a little bit like this. We can bring these sides up so they go to that height. So stand on this one and kind of go like this. And we can also go like that. We're going to want to come over this piece as well. So let's do that. But let's jump back down here because we're going to want to place our sticky piston, like I said. So we're going to want to be one block above this. So here. And then we're going to go like this. Now let's grab our sticky piston. Place it there. And we're going to have a solid block like that. On top of that solid block, we're going to have a trap door. Any trap door, remember. And then you can simply go like that. And we should be good to go. One thing we are going to want to do is get some power to this piston. So we can do that right now. And we can simply go like this. Redstone, redstone, redstone. And we should have one piece left. And we can work from the top right now. So be very careful not to fall down this hole temporarily. I'm going to fill it in. And with this hole, I'm going to have a piece of glass. It's very important that we have a piece of glass there. You will understand why very soon. And I'm going to put a rail right here. At this stage, I'm going to make a circuit, a little redstone circuit. To do this, I'm going to remove this block and this block. I'm going to have a piece of redstone, the last piece of redstone. I'm going to get my redstone uh, torch, place that there. And now, I am going to get my repeater and place that in the middle, facing that way. And finally, to finish it off, I'm going to grab my lever as well. Go like this. And also place a block here. And you can see that will make a clock. Like that. Let's turn that off. And we can put our snow golem in position. I'm also going to kind of square up the platform. Just like that. So snow golem time. We're going to want to be very careful with this. Uh, because we are going to need to move them. And obviously break the block underneath. So it's very easy to do. Place down the rail. And the minecart will come down here, remove this ball lock right here, and it'll fall on. Now we just want to nudge him slightly into that glass, and you'll know when you've done it properly. I'll just remove this because that block has now got snow on it in front. So let me just replace this. Sweet. So now I'm going to remove this right here. Potentially, you could put a trap door. I've not tested it, just so you're a little bit more safer, but you should be good to go. And the last thing we can do is simply add our ladders. So you can have them pretty much anywhere you want. I mean, if I can add some ladders right here, I think I'm just going to add them here. So I can just get up and down. It doesn't really matter. Have them anywhere. Like I said, you can have them all the way around. That way, you've got a little bit more access. So potentially, I could have some there as well. So I can do that. So no matter what direction I come from, I can get up on top. And that, my friends, is build complete. Right now, what we need to do is kind of prime this up. So I'll show you when the good time to go is. So what we're going to do is turn this on. And you'll notice that that is kind of like building up. So when you start to see fire or them start to break, then you can jump in. And we should be ready to get launched in the air. So I should uh, grab myself some food right now. So it might take a while the first time you build it. To like build it up. But you see that? A little bit of fire there now. So I'm going to jump in. Press this button. And I should get launched up. Right in front of my sign. If I was in a better perspective then that probably would have looked better. But I think that's the perfect height. Let's just try it one more time. So, I'm going to go in. Oh, I forgot to change my perspective. I'll do it one more time with the changed perspective. <laughs> I bet it's super hard to press the button with a changed perspective, though. So, what I'll do is I'll go in. I'll press the button. And then I'll change my perspective. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to do. So, uh, there you go. That is how to build yourself a super simple elytra launcher again this can be expanded and i'll probably do a uh, another video on a bigger version although for now yeah i'm super happy this is back in the game remember if you fall in there when the system is not on you might be in trouble so uh be careful around this just make sure it's on 
and uh, primed and loaded before you even attempt to go in. Uh, or you've got like uh, a total of them dying or something like that. But that is all I've got time for today. I will catch you guys on the next one.